Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. I'm gonna go through my Allure little catalogs next from the Allure Beauty Box. And there's a lot of them, so I'm just gonna get going because I've had this, my first box I could find was in September of 2016. There's a few that I'm missing because I either lost these or I skipped a month, but I'll let you know the month as I go. All right, first up is a Pure Lease Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. I'm pretty sure I decluttered that, passed it along to somebody else. I don't remember liking that. Super Goop Lip Shine on, it's a sunscreen. I know I decluttered that, I tossed that one. The Avene Fizo Lift Eyes, that's still sitting in my eye cream collection because I have so many eye creams and they take forever to use them up. So I still have that one. The Grande Mascara, I tried it, I didn't like it. It was passed, well it wasn't passed along, it was tossed. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Bulgari Omnia Coral, I still have that. I collect mini perfume bottles so I have that one somewhere. And then an Orly, I don't remember having this like at all so I must have given it away or something because I don't remember having that at all. Next up is October. So the first thing in here was a deep conditioning mask from Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. I passed it along because I sat around with a whole bunch of them for a while and I never used them because I never do a hair mask because I don't have the patience to sit with my hair wet and either dry myself off and get back in the shower and then dry myself off again or just sit cold and wet in the shower. <laughs> so I just passed them along. Then we have a Duché eyeshadow. I have, think I actually finally passed along all of my Duché shadows because I just never reached for them and they kind of irritated me. The Tatcha body butter, I did use that one up. That was an okay body butter. It wasn't like super emollient, but it was okay. Then a Spongel Freesia Pear body puff with stuff in it. I still have that sitting in my collection of body washes to use. I haven't gotten around to using those yet. I've been trying to use up some of my older body washes that I discovered after I started cleaning. The Mali Volumizing Mascara, I tried it, I didn't like it, it was thrown away. And then the Chlorine Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk, that was definitely passed along because I don't like dry shampoos. Then we have a Red Flower Lotion. I remember using that lotion and it was pretty nice. So that one was used up. Here's another Bulgari Omnia Crystalline. That is sitting in my collection because I love those mini bottles. Ico, oh, and this is November 16th, by the way. I'm pretty sure I passed this one along or it could be the black eyeliner that's sitting in my little jar of eyeliners that I'm going, eh, I'm never gonna use it. Then we have a bit Bonaviant Botanical Mask Pack. That was a nice mask. I do remember using that one. Chlorine Shampoo with Essential, essential Olive Extract. Did use this one. It was okay. It wasn't like the best shampoo, but it wasn't a terrible shampoo either. And then this uh, Avene Uthermal Hydrating Cream. I did use that one up. So I actually used one, two, three, four of them. And then two of them, I think, are sitting in my collection still. So not too bad, actually. December 2016. First thing in here is a Coastal Salt and Soul Heavenly Hand Cream. I did use that one up. It was an okay hand cream. It was not my favorite scent. I did not like the scent of it. European Wax Center Oh My Brow Brow Highlighter. That was passed along very recently, actually because it was just, I never reached for it and I never got around to using it. Tula Advanced Neck Cream. I must have used that, but I don't remember using it. But I know I've used up all of my jars of moisturizer because I was really focusing on getting rid of those. Embryo Lease Lat, Lat Cream Concentrate. I'm pretty sure I used this one as well. I remember it's like a metal, push tube, like squeezy tube instead of plastic. 
Beauty Blender Liquid Blender Cleanser. Definitely use that. That was that's been gone for a very long time. I did like that too. And then the Chlorine Floral Eye Makeup Remover. I did use that one up too. So wow, one, two, three. I used up five of them, and I only passed along one. That that's really impressive, actually. So this is why I really liked Allure for the longest time because there was a lot of good stuff in there. Then we're moving on to January of 2017. And we have that Duché again. That was an eyeshadow palette. There's four shades in it. Did not like that palette. It's been passed along. <laughs> so was this Oscar Blandy dry shampoo. That was gone. That's gone. That's been passed along. Was not a fan. Sigma blending brush. I have the Sigma brush and I got it in January of 2017. And for at least a year, it has been, I don't reach for it anymore. I loved it, but the enamel over the wood has been splintering off. And so like there's big cracks in it, which really irritated me because these brushes are like 16 bucks a piece. So they're not cheap brushes by any means. But yeah, I was a little disappointed, but I still have that one. I just don't reach for it quite as much because I have to be really careful when I use it and when I wash it. Then we have a Burt's Bees lip balm or lipstick, which I did pass along because I'm allergic to beeswax. So didn't even want to bother with that. The Dr. Brandt Microderm Abrasion. I use that probably. I have some backups of that. But I'm pretty sure this one is probably gone, long gone. Really like that one. It's a really good exfoliant. And then these Biobel masks. Uh, I think I've used up all of those actually. So they're a pretty nice brand. I just don't like that most of them, they want you to rinse them off after you have finished with the mask, which I want to leave that serum on, especially because I like to use the serum on my neck and chest. So... The first part, the first three were not great, but the second three, you know, I did get a couple really good things and you got extra products in that month, which is kind of nice. Then we have February of 2017, facial radiance pads. I have used those. I do like those. If I'm gonna use any type of toner thing, it's going to be something like that. Oh, I was just thinking about this. This is the Cargo Color Stick in Champagne. I do have this. This made it through my cut. It was part of my highlighters. I was wearing a whole bunch of different highlighters and it made the cut. It is staying in my collection. Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. I think I actually decluttered that eventually because I just never reached for it and I just don't like that type of thing. Um... I think this was just a little tiny candle, like a tea light. And I did burn through that fairly quickly because it was just a tea light. And then this Beauty Counter Mascara, I did try that and I didn't like it. And it's been long, it's long gone. So actually I tried everything or, and I only got rid of, well, I got rid of two, which would have been gone anyway. March. A Car Skin Ruby Tint Lip Butter. Oh my gosh, I did like this. I finished this, I don't know, fairly recently-ish, and it was a nice lip butter. I, I do remember that. This seven day volume in shower treatment, I think I finally passed it along. I don't think it's still sitting in my hair care collection. I've gotten, my hair care collection is much smaller. But this was one that I was like, I don't know what to do with it. Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. I did use that one up. I don't remember because it's been quite a while since I used it, but I do like those type of things. We have from London Town, we have a lacquer, a color, and then a cuticle oil. I know the cuticle oil is still sitting in my collection. I don't remember about the nail polish though. I did do a declutter, but I can't remember if that was one of the ones that I decluttered or if it's just kind of sitting in my, you really need to figure out what you think of those nail polishes, which it could be that one. May of 17, we have a Drunk Elephant 
SPF. I did use that one up. I remember not liking it though. The Skin Fix Foaming Clay Cleanser. I did like that. I used it up. The This Works Stress Check Stress Check Breathe-In Fragrance. I think I still have this and I just, I don't reach for it. I haven't used it. Uh, Duche Eyeshadow was also decluttered because I got rid of all of them in one go. The Luxie Blending Eye Brush 205. Oh, that's still in my collection. I love Luxie brushes. I wear them all. I use them all the time. I don't wear them all the time. And then this is a body oil. I think I got the lavender one and I did pass that one right along because lavender gives me tremendous headaches. It also like makes me sneeze and my nose run and everything else, which I think is part of the problem right now because my university decided to plant lavender everywhere. So I walk across campus and my head hurts and I'm miserable. All right, we have June of 17. We have a Deco Miami nail polish. I still have this one. It's one that is in my, I should decide if I like it or not pile. This hairspray is still in my collection because I haven't used it up yet. It's from John Frieda. Oh, I loved this one. This is the YSL Touche Clot Primer. Love that primer. I used it up. I used up a couple of them actually. And then I have, what's the next one? Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. I don't really like this Juice Beauty. I did use it up, but I would never buy Juice Beauty. I just, I don't like it. I passed along the Saint Tropez mask. That's not for me whatsoever. And then the Tata Harper resurfacing mask. I'm betting it's probably still in my mask collection, but I actually have no recollection of that whatsoever. July. All right. We have, oh, the Feel Brilliant Bamboo Charcoal Mask. Use that. I really like that mask, actually. It's a good one. Beauty For Real Lip Scrub. I actually just... This is still my collection because I just was doing lip treatments and scrubs and it's in there. So yeah, I need to use that one up. Then we have a Briogeo Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. Pass that one along because I don't do heat styling with my hair. I don't blow dry my hair. So that one has been passed along. I don't know if I still have this Cargo's, Cargo Swimmables Water Resistant Blush in Bali. I'm not sure to tell you the truth. Uh, I sure I have more blushes than I can find right now. Like there are some that I'm pretty sure that I own, but I don't know where they are. So that could be in that pile. Then we have a Burt's Bees facial oil. I did use that. It was okay. It wasn't anything special. Wander Beauty lipstick and barely there. That's a really nice lipstick. Actually, I do like that one a lot. And then the Redken Fashion Ways sea salt spray. I might have just passed it along because I decided I'm never going to get around to using all the sea salt sprays that I have. So I either just decluttered it or I still have it. It's something like that. It's recent though. August 17, Skin Fix Facial Cleansing Cloths. I don't remember those at all. Like I know I probably used that right away. Way Finishing Cream. I don't remember that one either. I'm sure I used it because I know that's not in my collection. And I don't think that that's definitely not something I would pass along. So I must have used it. I just don't remember it. Caudalie Mask. Have not used that. That's in my mask collection. Hey Honey, I Peel Good uh, Biomimetic Honey Peel Cream. I must have used that one too, but I don't remember anything about that because I really like Hey Honey as a brand. Vici Mineral Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. I have a full size of this, so I think this, I'm pretty sure a small size came in with Allure, so I would have passed that one along because I still haven't used up the full size that I have. And then a rod rodial, rodial uh, eyeliner in black. That one has definitely been passed along. Moving on to September. So we finished an entire year. We're on to year two. Here's a Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush. I love these blushes. I have a whole bunch of these blushes, so definitely kept that one. 
Then a Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. I did pass that one along because I just don't reach for those. I remember using this and thinking it was kind of cool, but not enough to buy it. It is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Ripped Whipped Cream. Kiehl's Midnight Eye Recovery. That's still sitting in my pile of eye creams and the like. And then a Beauty Blender Micro Mini. I don't know what to do with the Micro Minis. I have a couple of those that I just, they're, they're sitting in my collection, but I've never used them. We have a Purology Hydrate Air Dry Cream. I'm pretty sure I used that. I don't remember anything about it though, to tell you the truth. Beauty For Real Eyeliner and Whiskey. I did pass that one along. Youth Thermal Antioxidant Defense Serum. Used that one up. Don't remember anything special about it. Cora's Wild Rose Sleeping Facial. I love this stuff. I have quite a bit of it. Well, I don't have quite a bit of it. I've gone through a few of them. I really like that. And then the Saint and Sinner Perfumes. I did pass this along. I think I sent it to my friend Patricia. Did I, Patricia? I don't remember. I decided to give it to somebody who would like it more than I would. Even though I collect the small bottles, I just, I didn't want to keep it. November. A Juice Beauty Final Pigments Luminous Crayon in Malibu. I passed that along because I just don't like Juice Beauty. Hey Honey, Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. I love that serum. I've gone through some of those samples. I'll, I've gone through many of those samples. I love this brush from Moda Brushes too. I've used that quite a bit, so that one I still have. The Duche Eyeshadow I passed along because I just don't want it or need it. I don't know why there's stuff for Botox. This is a good moisturizer. It's sitting in my things of things that I need to use. Too, school, too cool for school all-in-one egg mellow cream. I really like that. And then the Caudalie Revertisol Lift Eye Lifting Balm. That's also sitting in my eye creams because I've been trying to use up my eye creams, but I only have two eyes and I only put on eye cream twice a day, so it takes a while. December, this was the Jackie... Jackie Jacqueline Hill oh my gosh collab and the first thing is the hourglass primer I have the sample of this sitting in my collection because I haven't needed to use it yet but I really like it so I've been keeping it a morphe blending fluff brush I actually use this one quite a bit I think this is that's the right one yeah I should still have that one the Dior show mascara I pat I tossed because I didn't like it. It didn't work for me. Orbe Matte Waves Texture Lotion. I don't remember that like at all. I don't remember that at all. The Becca uh, Highlighter and Champagne Pop. I have multiples of this, so I might have passed this one along, or it could be the one that I kept and I passed on other sample sizes, but that's really nice. And then this cleanser, I've used several of these cleansers already and I have like two more in my collection. So it's either still sitting in my collection or I definitely used it. So actually a pretty good box, some things that are still sitting in my collection and that are being used. January of 18, CEO, this was a full size by the way, the vitamin C serum from Sunday Riley. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is one of my favorite sun, uh, vitamin C serums. You definitely used every bit of that. This box was definitely worth it. It makes like a whole bunch of boxes worth it because it's so expensive. This works in transit camera close-up. I think this is a primer. I don't think I've tried this one yet to tell you the truth. I think it's still sitting in my collection unopened. This is a dry texture spray by Frederick Fakai. That was passed along. Makeup Forever lipstick and rosewood it's a liquid lipstick i'm pretty sure i passed that one along because it's not i'm pretty sure that was one that was passed along and the same thing with another black eyeliner from Rod rodial rodial that was definitely passed along because i just don't like i don't wear eyeliner february 18 this video is gonna be so long youth to the people age profession what age prevention moisture cream used it up was not super excited about it it's kale spinach and green tea whatever it was fine skin fit fix minty mint lip repair balm i passed that one along because mint 
I tend to have reactions to. I just recently decluttered this one. The Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Liquid Lip and Gwyneth was not a fan of it. Don't like Juice Beauty whatsoever. Tartiste Lash Paint Mascara. It was also decluttered. Just not something I reach for. Klee Essence Moonlighter Cushion. I don't know if this one I kept or not, or if I've tried it. Um, this, I don't remember. But the rest, like this was a bad month. The, the February box was not a good month. This might be the only thing that I kept and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it because I am still trying to go through all my mascara or highlighters. Oh my. March was another Best to Beauty box. They do those occasionally. There's an Orbe hairspray that's sitting in my collection. Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I know I used it, but I wasn't like super excited about it. The Makeup Forever Lipstick in C211. I have multiples of this one. So I probably passed this one along because I already have a couple of it. La Roche-Posay Sunscreen. I used up. I, I just... Sunscreen never is exciting to me. I don't really have much of an opinion. Ico Liquid Eyeliner. It's been passed along. All right. So the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation... I had one of these that was a completely wrong shade and I passed it along, but I had another one that I really liked and I really liked the foundation. So I don't know which one is which. Then these two, I have both of these in my collection. I've used up one of these. They're okay, they're the simple waterproof makeup remover eye pads. They're fine, I used them for my whole face to tell you the truth. I would use like two or three of them because I was trying to use them up and then the hydrating gel cream from Simple. I have not tried it yet. It's sitting in my moisturizers because like I said, I have a lot of moisturizers to use. That was March, April 18. We have a Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Balm and J Mama. I still have that one. It's a full size if I remember right. Did like that. A mini makeup eraser. I passed that one along because I just, I don't want to deal with makeup erasers. I don't wash things regularly. Like I like to have enough extra things that I only have to do laundry very occasionally. And I'd have to have so many of these and I don't have the patience or the time to wash them out by hand. I know that sounds terrible, but there it is. Then we have the Rahua Classic Shampoo and Conditioner. These stunk so bad and they like, stayed in your hair all freaking day. I hated them. Oh my gosh, they were so terrible. I hated them, I hated them. Uh, now that we established that I really hated them, Corez Pomegranate Balancing gel, Cream Gel Moisturizer. I don't remember this like at all. So I have no idea if I liked it or not. And then the Stellar Brilliant Primer. Oh, I did use this one up, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't terrible of a primer. May 18, we have the Wander Beauty under eye patches. I still have some of these to use up because I got them in several different subscription boxes and they're pretty nice, but I just, I don't use the under eye patches nearly as much as the sheet masks. And I really had to force myself to use up my sheet masks because it's, they take time. So if you're taking a shower and it's really late at night, it's another like 20, 30 minutes after you get done with the shower that you have that sheet mask on. And I don't always want to deal with that, especially if I know I have to get up in the morning. Then we have the Kenra Dry Oil Control Spray. That was passed along. The First Day Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. I don't know what I did with this. I might have decluttered it, or it might be still sitting in my collection. Just don't know and then i know it was one or the other of these from san tropez i passed along whatever i got from san tropez because i don't do self tanning and then the clean melting lip powder and desert rose i just recently decluttered that it was interesting it just i i just didn't like it enough to keep it june 18 which was the kat von d box the trooper eyeliner in black i passed that one along the liquid the lip liner in lolita that's still sitting in my collection i haven't used it 
the Kat Von D, D Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick in Double Dare. That I think is still sitting in my collection. This brush or this little mirror is still sitting in my collection. And then a transforming walnut scrub. I do really like that. I have that uh, be ready to use, but I'm going to use it as like a body scrub because I think it will be really amazing as a body scrub. July. I couldn't think about the month and I'm a July baby. Like I should know this. All right. Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Oil with, I think it has a retinol in it. Still have that. Just never reach for those oils. I need to start using those more in the winter. Like I can't imagine putting oil on in the summer when it's hot and I'm barely like sleeping as it is. Feel Harmony Rose Petal Facial Mask. That would be still in my mask collection. I should do a mask collection video. It's going to be horrifying. Duche Ultra Precision Eyeliner in blue. That probably is still sitting in my collection because I probably was like, ooh, I should try that one. Didn't like it. Then a Derma E Essentials Mineral Powder. This is a sunscreen and I do have this. I was going to try to use it this summer. I never got around to using it because it takes a little bit more commitment than just squeezing out a tube. Way Hair Care Leave-In Conditioner. This was nice. I did use that. Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in red. I still have that. I haven't used it really much at all. And then the Organic Pharmacy Antioxidant Lip Balm. I did pass that along. I, I remember doing that. August. Oh my goodness. We're still in 2018. We're almost done though because I canceled not too long ago. Not, yeah, not too long ago. Codaly. Vena Source Moisturizing Sorbet. I love that moisturizer. I've used several of them, but I have some more in my backup collection. Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. It was totally passed along because I hate eyeliner. Laritzy Cosmetics Light Stick in Halo. I think I just recently decluttered that one. Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Used that one up. Really liked it. Nexus Shampoo and Conditioner. I used those. They weren't my favorites but that's where they are. September, MAC Lipstick and Lustring or Ruby Woo. I must still have those because I don't remember decluttering them, but I don't remember wearing them either. And these are both sitting, I have the glue and the lashes, but I haven't used either of them. I probably should get around to using those, but they're also, they take, more commitment, the la false lashes. Those were from Tarte, by the way. The Drunk Elephant TLC Baby Facial. I really wanna try this. I just haven't gotten around to it. It is sitting in my pile of masks. IGK Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. I know I've used at least one of those, and I know the Full Dry Volume Blast. I've gotten two. I've passed along more than one of those. I don't remember which one, because you got one or the other. I mean, it's been a year. Give me a break, right? October Hourglass Mascara, Caution Mascara. I love this mascara. It's sitting waiting for me to use it because I've tried it before and I really like it. Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff too. Use that one up. Ceramic Slip Clay Cleanser. I don't like that cleanser. I passed that one along. I think it's awful. And I also passed along this Yves Saint Laurent Tattooage Couture Matte Liquid Lip Stain. I've tried them before and I just don't like them. <coughs> Caudalie Vino Pure Skin Perfecting Serum. I really like that serum. I did use it all up. I was a little sad when it was gone. I used up this uh, lip balm as well from Beaker Paris. The BKR, they do the water bottles. They also did that. And then the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I did pass that one along. So actually, this was like a fantastic box in October because I got some really high-end stuff that I really liked. And then I could pass along some things to friends that were really nice as well. November, I had a pearl metallic sheet mask. I have not tried that. That is sitting in my sheet mask collection because it's a more recent one, so it's not close to expiration. Same with this one, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Jelly Sheet Mask. This one, oh, this was the sheet mask box. Yeah, this one I was really disappointed. I was like, really, just sheet masks? 
Uh, Coco Star Rose Lip Mask. I don't remember if I passed that one along or if that's one of the weird ones sitting in my collection. This is sitting in my collection. This is the Star Skin Double Layer Foot Mask Socks. I'm excited to use them, but I have to plan it really carefully because my feet peel so much, especially at the tops of my feet. And when I tried to put a little lotion on, it didn't peel as much anywhere, which was disappointing. So I'm looking forward to using those, but I need to wait till sandal season is over. The Invisibobbles, I passed along. I was not interested in those. Patchology eye gels. I have those, I think, still sitting in my collection. And then the Glam Glow uh, Super Mud Treatment. That is sitting in my collection. I've used some of them up over the years, but I still have more. Then I don't know where the December insert is. Kind of like my Ipsy as well. This is December, or no, January of 2019. So we're in this year. Mally Shadow Stick. That was passed along. I don't like shadow sticks. Way, scalp, and body scrub. I used that up in one go. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite. The Sunday Riley CEO Glow Face Oil. Haven't used that one yet. It's sitting in my collection. Used this one up. This is the Sunday Riley High Dose Retinoid ser Serum. I would like more of that. I liked it. Duche Matte Lip Crayon in Winterberry. I did pass that along because that wasn't really a color that I liked. So I did pass that along. Beauty Blender Micro Mini. Still have those. I don't know what to do with them. And then Amika. I think I got the Amika instead of this, which is a nourishing hair mask, which I passed along. So there were some really good ones in there and then some duds as well. February. Here's a Mile at High Club Mascara from Wonder Beauty. It's sitting in my mascaras ready to try because I'm, I used up, I tried a lot of mascaras this year and I used, I passed along, I did, well I passed along the extras that I had. Then we had a Moda Metallics Triad Eye Brush. I decided to pass that along because I just couldn't get used to it. This Model Co. Eyeshadow Palette Trio, I haven't used it all, I need to try it. Maman Flower Lab Essence Mask. I need to use that. That's in my sheet masks. I used up this uh, Maman Oil to Foam Cleanser. It was okay. It was not my favorite. I wouldn't recommend it. Brow Gal was passed along because it's a brow product. And then you had one of these. I think I might have gotten the lip liner, but any of these I would have passed along. So the lip liner, the eyeliner or the liquid lipstick. I did not get a liquid lipstick from Mally. I know that. I might have gotten the eyeliner. One of the two. But they were definitely passed along because I just wasn't a fan of those. So this had a couple really good things I think but some others that were really not great. And then I have, oh that's 419. Okay that's my last one. So 319 March this Au Natural Multi Stick. I passed that along to a friend. I gave her that. I think she'll like it because she likes eyeshadow sticks and cream blushes. So she gets everything with that. This rose water toner, I passed along because I did not like it. Then I got this one, I think, the brightening night oil from Acure and then the squalene oil from Biosense. Did not like either. I mean, they're both sitting in my collection of oils but wasn't a fan of either of those really like wasn't excited to get oils then i got the microdermabrasion scrub which is in a jar which is just not ideal for a face scrub was not happy about getting that and then yeah so you get one of these oh i got one of these i don't i think i probably got this one the true blue cream aqua bomb i think that's what i got um I haven't used it obviously because I don't remember and then I hate this there's so many they started doing so many variations this year which is part of the reason why I canceled because you got this but then one of these and then you got one of these I think I got this moisturizing balm and I haven't used it I have used this one before and I have a full size of it. That's a Vichy. And I think I got the Amica one. But like this, you got one of the three. It's just a little uh, crazy. 
too much variation and not great items either. Like don't send me two face oils in one month. And then my last one was in April. I thought I was going to resubscribe. I, the May box wasn't exciting to me. June wasn't exciting. July was kind of exciting, but I decided to save my money and resist because I didn't need all of the stuff. And then my friend Kim, who was so lovely, she decided she didn't like the Lore lipstick from Huda. So she gave it to me, which was awesome. She just swatched it on her hand. I was like, oh my gosh, I want it. So that was the one thing I wanted from that box. August was slightly better, but I decided I didn't need in it. I didn't need anything from it. And kind of the same thing with September now. Like I would love the Laura Mercier or the NARS, but I don't really need them. And the other stuff is just kind of meh in it. So I wasn't too, too excited. I'm really looking forward to seeing what October holds because you never know if it's going to be better. So Allure is one that I keep up with the spoilers and kind of look at what's available, but I'm not going to keep it religiously like I have in the past. Uh, April. So what was in here was a Laura Geller eyeliner that was passed along. Natasha Denona shadow. That was so amazing. I really love the shade that I got. Um, so I love, I love it. And then there was a weird brush from Lexi, which I wasn't excited about. So that one I didn't like. I did pass along the tanning, the self tanning stuff. And then I got the leave-in conditioner, conditioning spray from Briogeo, which I really like. This one, I think we got both of them and I passed this one along. I didn't need that uh, heat protected spray. So that was my like three years of allure on and off. I know this was a super long video. Let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for sticking around and I'll talk to you next time.